Hi, this will be a short uh, video on React Native and using the scroll view. So, um, you know, in the last example I was working on, you know, if you followed those videos, oops, let me put that away, right? I, um, we created this timer component. So I'm actually going to work in the same project and, um, you know, you can do the same thing or you can start a new project, right? So in my project, I have a component called app and the app component is rendered inside my index iOS and my index Android. Or actually, it's not rendered here, but it could be, right? So I would add that when I make the Android version. But essentially, just app is rendered here. And so you could actually put the code that we're going to do next in the render method for the default um, implementation. Or if you've created, you know, a component that you're rendering in your, in your default view, um, then you can do it there, okay? So uh, let's get started, right? Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a component for the, you know, to represent my scroll view, right? So it'll be, it'll, it'll let me, it'll let me plug it in here pretty easily, right? So uh, let's make a new component. So I'll make a brand new file and I'll call it um, scroll example.js. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to import React. And this will be a simple component, so we won't need state, okay? So we'll just say import React from React, and then we'll import um, some of those React Native components. So what we'll need maybe is the view component, the scroll view component, and the style sheet. We'll import these from React Native. Let me make this a little bigger, right? There we go, right? So we'll import these guys from React Native. <clears throat> and then we're going to make a simple component. So we'll define this as a function. So I'll call it um, scroll example. And, uh, you know, it might take in some props. And uh, yeah, that's pretty good. And then it has to return some JSX, right? And then we'll need to um, we'll need to export this component. So um, I'll make this the default export, and we'll export scroll example, okay? And then we'll probably need a style sheet. So at the bottom here, I'll say const styles equals style sheet. dot create and then inside the parentheses here we'll put the curly braces right and then we'll begin our style sheet so uh, I'll put in container colon and then I'll have the curly braces and you know I don't have anything in here but we'll we'll you know we'll probably have a container object and we'll need to need to style it right so what are we gonna do well let's go back to our component here and inside the parentheses here, let's generate a scroll view. So the scroll view is very easy to work with, actually, surprisingly easy. Um, and so I'll make an opening scroll view and a closing scroll view. And essentially, everything that we put inside the scroll view will scroll. Okay? <laughs> it's that easy, right? Um, and what we'll need to do, though, is in order to make this work correctly, scroll view needs to have a flex of one and by giving it a flex of one it'll expand to fill its container and if the content here is larger than the than the scroll view area then the scroll view will let it scroll right so uh, so let's do this let's put style and then we'll do styles dot container so the container styles will be applied to the scroll view in our case okay so like I said the scroll view needs to have a flex of one so I'll put that down here, and now, you know, that's the style that's applied up here, okay? Okay, great. So now we just need some stuff in here to scroll, okay? So, you know, we could just, you could just put a bunch of things in there, like you'd put a bunch of line, you know, lines in here, you know, you know, of components, and that would be fine. You know, if you had a bunch of stuff that you 
wanted to put it in there and it was all different. You could create a form or something. Um, I'm going to actually make a loop and create a, an array of items because that'll just be easy to, you know, fast way to create like 10 items that are all the same. So, um, and then we'll just display those items here. So why don't we put the curly brackets there and then put array here. Okay, so a nice feature of React Native is that if you have an array of JSX objects, then if you try to display them as a child of another JSX object, um, React Native will or React will iterate through those items and display them all. Okay, so if we just have an array here, it could be any name. But if we have an array with a bunch of items in it, if they're JSX items, then it'll just iterate through them all and put them all here, right? So we don't have to iterate through them. Okay, so maybe at the top of our component here, we'll say const, and then we'll say um, array equals an empty array. And then we'll just make a for loop, and we'll say for i is zero, let's count while i is less than 20. And then we'll say i plus plus. And now we'll add new JSX items to the array. So we'll say push, right? This is, you know, at push an item into an array. And then the item we're gonna push in is a view, right? And I'll just make it a closing one like this, right? Okay, there we go. So now there's a couple things here, right? We gotta make this view something visible so we can see it, right? And then we gotta make this um, this component, you know, appear in our app component somewhere, right? So if you wanna, you could make it appear here, or I'm gonna put it in app because app is already being displayed in index iOS, right? So, um, so I've got this guy, we gotta first make this, give it a style so we can see it. So why don't we do this? Why don't we say, um, Let's say style equals, and then we'll say styles dot box. Now I don't have a box style yet or a box object in my style sheet, so I'll go to the bottom here, put a comma, say box colon, and say you are going to be um, height of you know I don't know sixty. And um, let's do border radius of 10 and a background color of um, how about that? I don't know what color that is. We'll just guess, right? Okay, so now we've got box here. We've got, you know, all of our views here are you know have the style box. We're pushing them all into the array, and the array is going to iterate through them all and display them all here. Okay. Okay, so that that's pretty good. So now let's try and get scroll example to appear in our app. So I'm going to go to app here, and right now we're getting the timer thing to appear there. So maybe at the top here I'll import. Uh, scroll example from uh, scroll example and then uh, scroll example will be our example that appears here okay so let's save that and see if I made any mistakes right we'll test it oh that's not too bad so I can see those guys scrolling I need a little bit of space here between them right and then I'm getting a warning here and we'll talk about that so so that looks pretty good right so this is displayed here um, let's go to the scroll example again and why don't we add a little bit of space between each of these guys and you know what I'll do is I'll add a margin margin margon wait margin of five okay so I just added a new style to box right so this has got a new style margin five and then I've got this error at the bottom let's save it and we'll test it again right so, oh, so that looks pretty good right um, right so there should have 20 blue boxes right um, and then I have a warning at the bottom here I'm gonna click on that and it might be hard for you to read on the screen but it says warning encountered one time warning 
each child in an array or iterator should have a unique key prop. Check the render method of blah, 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 right? So what is it saying? Well, it's saying that, that, that if we're iterating through uh, a bunch of members, like a bunch of JSX objects, then these guys each need to have a key property, okay? They each need to have a key. Like it, they just need a unique value. The key is just a unique value that, that lets you identify them, you know, uniquely. And really that value only needs to, needs to be unique with siblings. So, you know, if I had some, if I had another array out here, I actually can't put one here because it can't be, it can't be a sibling with this guy. I have one top level thing. But if I had one out here, these guys could all use the same keys as the guys in here, right? But everybody inside this thing, right? They would have to have unique keys, okay? So these all need to have a different value for their key. Those values, though, the same, like if these were all, you know, 1 through 20, then, uh, you know, I could use those 1 through 20 somewhere else as long as it's not in here, right? So let's try it, right? So how do we do that? Well, we create the key here, and the key could be anything. So if you're you know, if we were actually looping through some data and that data had a special ID values it's associated with it that we know that we knew were unique, we could use those values here. But in our case, um, I don't have that, but I do have this letter I right here. So the value of I is 0 to 19, and I know that each of the values for I is unique, so I can put that here as the key, right? And so that was our warning. I'm going to refresh it, and then you can see the warning goes away, right? So we've gotten rid of that, okay? So anytime you... You have to, um, you have an array of children, then those children must all have a key, and the key needs to be unique, okay? So anyway, so thanks for watching. That was a quick example of how to use the, the scroll view, and I'll do another example, and we'll have a little more fun with this, but uh, but that, that just should get you started, right? It was pretty easy. You can see it just scrolls automatically, right? Okay, so anyway, thanks for watching.